Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create these mini Mother's Day cakes. I have an 8-inch cake board, popping my 5-inch cake on top and stuck it down with some buttercream. Going in with some more of that vanilla buttercream in the center of the cake and spreading it evenly with my offset small spatula. I'm popping my second layer on top, so I've cut my 5-inch cake in half, basically. And now I'm creating the crumb coat. This is a thin layer of frosting that goes around the whole cake, trapping in any crumbs. Go around slowly to clear off the sides and then bring that lip of frosting to the center. I like to pop mine in the freezer so that the frosting has time to harden before I complete the layer. This is a 4 inch cake, um, same deal, cut in half, now creating a crumb coat. You can't see it but it's actually sitting on a 4 inch cake board underneath. That's important for layered cakes. Here I've got my 5 inch cake, it's nice and set from the freezer after 10 minutes and I'm applying a nice thick coat over the top. I'm clearing up the sides a little bit and then I'm going in with my offset spatula, just the small one that I was using along the base and then I start up top and rotate the turntable while keeping that spatula steady. Swipe off the buttercream after every layer to make sure you don't get any little bumps as you can see there. They're easy to just swipe off anyway. Now I have this awesome scraper that I've made and it kind of acts as many spatulas in one. Um, as a demonstration, just making sure that the frosting is nice and smooth first. And then going around once and adding pressure and it's kind of like you've done the spatula effect but you've uh, made it so that it's the same distance each time. And it just looks a lot nicer anyway. I just wanted an easy way to create this without having to spend the time and trying to keep it steady. So I went ahead and I made this scraper. I'm doing the exact same thing with my 4 inch cake. Um, bring that lip of frosting to the center and then popping them both into the freezer for at least 15 minutes to set up. Into the 5 inch I'm adding bubble tea straws and I'm pressing it down all the way giving it a bit of a wriggle so that the frosting sticks to my straw and I know where to cut so it sits flush with the top of the cake when I press it in. Applying some buttercream onto the 5 inch and then my 4 inch on top. Because it was in the freezer for a good 15 minutes, I can handle it with my hands and it won't dent my buttercream. For the decoration on cake number one, I've got a circle tip and I'm just creating a shell border. So I'm piping, keeping my piping tip st uh, steady, letting it build a shell and then slowly pulling away to create that kind of shell border. I'm adding fresh flowers on the top, so I'm popping some baking pa uh, paper over the cake, stuck down with some of that buttercream. That way the flowers don't actually touch the frosting on the cake. Wash your flowers that you are going to decorate with and then with a little ring of buttercream sticking it to the top just on the baking paper. I've used pink carnations and white chrysanthemums for this cake. Make your little bouquet up top and then I've added two extra ones at the bottom for um, just a little added detail. Here are some ferns. You can buy these from your florist. I'm just adding them on for extra contrast. For the next cake, I'm creating little flowers with a star tip. You could use any star tip for this. I've arranged um, three in a triangular kind of form and then two and then three and continued this pattern all around my cake. Taking a metal leaf tip, I'll have the tip numbers in the description box below, and pipe the little green leaves uh, right next to your flowers. So going right near underneath and if you have a lot of flowers in one place you can stick one in the middle as well as I did there until you're happy with the look. For cake number three I'm using the same star tip that I used for the flowers but I'm creating a shell border with that one. So squeeze and release and then pull away your piping tip. And then wash your chrysanthemum flowers, remove the stem completely, and then they just stick on to that buttercream shell border. Make sure you wash them thoroughly first. And then pop in any greenery for decoration. You could also use fondant flowers for this instead. If you're enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload a new video every Tuesday. And if you're interested, we also run live classes as well. You can click the little eye in the right hand side for those details. And that is 
is how you create three gorgeous mini cakes, perfect for Mother's Day or for a, um, an anniversary or as a personal gift to somebody. It serves about 10 to 12 people, so the five inch and the four inch cake. Now I designed these, as you had seen, with this awesome little cake scraper. I do sell these on my website, so there's a little eye icon just up top here. You can click down and go ahead and buy one of these if you like. Very good alternative to um, the mini spatula and trying to get it straight and trying to move it exactly the same level in increments each time. This just takes the guesswork out of it. So do grab one of these if you like. And that is the tutorial for this Tuesday. Thank you for watching. I hope at least you might have learned something different today. Um, that's always the aim. But yes, have a lovely week and I'll catch you again next week. If you like the cake toppers, I also sell these on my website, rosiesbizetspot.com.